Y'all ready for this? What's up everyone, this is Mr. Blacksmith from Team Blacksmith. Welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm just going to do a quick review of my Bull Armory SAS2 UR Shorty. And I could not go without the gun that started it all. Started my collection into race guns and the 2011 platforms is the SAS2 Air. Both chambered in 9mm, both competition guns. But Bull Armory stepped up their game and got into the race gun category. Like I said, both are 9mm, but they can also do 9 major as well. As you can see, as they stepped up their game, they created and built quite a race gun. Similar attributes to my Atlas Chaos with the 4.6 inch barrel, 3 port compensator, Unique slide cuts, and as you can see, it says BUL in there. I like that. Has a thumb rest, oversized mag release, oversized mag, uh, thumb safeties. Uh, only issue I have with that is very loose. So I might have to get that fixed or tweak. Uh, it comes with the Bull Armory MS3 red dot. And right there. And a nice sweet trigger, oversized magwell, slide racker. It's a very youthful and unique race gun. Now I haven't got a chance to shoot it yet. Uh, being the holidays, it's hard to get out to the range. A lot of them are closing early before I can get off work. Uh, but I can't wait to get this to the range. And I'm definitely going to do a versus with the Bull Armory and my Atlas Chaos. And see which one will come out on top. Uh, what other attributes can we go over real quick? Uh, let's see the trigger. As you can tear that, that's just beautiful. Beautiful action. Riding on glass is just butter. All right, so let's see. Let's test out the trigger. See the slide racker. I mean, just hear that. It's a beautiful sound when it comes to these type of double stack 1911, 2011s. Good fitting. Very tight, definitely needs to be constantly oiled and lubed up. Beautiful design. And let's see the trigger here. Let's get a trigger pull. That safety down, that causes a problem. All right. So we'll set to three pounds. Very good trigger and very little travel wall right there. Break. Reset. Woo, that was fast. Caught me off guard. Right there. Beautiful reset. Bull Armor definitely outdid themselves with this one. Uh, polymer grip. Uh, but very nice balance to the shorty. And let's see, compared to the air. See? Very good action there. I mean, these guns are just amazing. Very sought after, very hard to get. And... They love the slide cuts, love the gold barrel. Wish I could have got the gold barrel and the UR shorty, uh, but I'm sure I can get some upgrades later. Uh, but beautiful design. Love the coating on the barrel. And let's check out the trigger pull here. 
Let's see, set to zero. That one is just a little over four pounds, four and a half pounds. And again, that uh, would be kind of a duty trigger. Uh, being a little heavy, but still good for competitions. I did pretty well starting off with this, but the magazines are very hard to find. And thank God, MBX makes Bull Armory magazines competition mags. Uh, <laughs> not cheap, but again, trying to find the standard Bull Armory Max is very tough to get. So thank God for MBX for creating some Bull Armory magazines. But for the Bull Armory shorty, you are shorty. Uh, looking forward to get this out and get some uh, range time with this. Hopefully I'll uh, have that for the new year. Uh, but again, a great addition to the collection. Look out for the verses to so my Atlas Chaos. I doubt if it can overthrow the Atlas Chaos, but hey, it's going to be good to shoot both and see who reigns supreme. All right, so this is Mr. Blackson for my quick review of my Bull Armory SES2 UR Shorty. New addition to the collection. As always, this is Mr. Blackson from Team Blacksmith. Like, Share, subscribe, join a team, I'm out.